What's up everybody? Go Burns here and it's now time for Top 5 Ideas 5.0 and today we're going to be doing it regarding Next Gen. That's right, eventually Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online is coming to PC, PlayStation 4, and Xbox One. And I wanted to know from you, what are some of your ideas on how those versions of Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online can be better. So first off, let's go to Kyle. His idea was to make the next-gen version of Grand Theft Auto 5 with 3D vision, similar to Max Payne 3. An excellent idea, Kyle, because a lot of people like using their 3D TVs and 3D glasses. That would be kind of cool. Uh, something I would like to add to that idea is, of course, being able to switch between third person and first person point of view similar to how you can with Skyrim that would be awesome great idea there Kyle next we move on to blood talks and his idea is for an ocean slash underwater type DLC now there's a lot of stuff to do on the land there's more things we can do in the sky now thanks to the San Andreas flight school update and I'm sure they're gonna continue to add new vehicles hopefully the Hydra and the Hunter among others but there's really not much to do when it comes to the ocean except for ride around on a boat or one of the jet skis. And I think this is a great idea by Blood Talks. He wants to see uh, spear guns, scuba gear, yachts, weaponized subs. <laughs> the ability to also hunt and probably be hunted by sharks. That would be awesome. Now currently in story mode there is a tiger shark. And there is no wildlife in the uh, current gen version or last gen version of Grand Theft Auto 5 for the PlayStation 3, Xbox 360, which really sucks. And that's something I seriously hope that, that changes with next gen. Now, in the next gen trailer, we actually see some new wildlife, including hammerhead sharks. So, on top of the tiger shark, we're also going to get hammerhead sharks, maybe even more. Like Makos, that would be really cool. Uh, bull sharks near shore, they can go up the river as well. That would be kind of scary. Put a couple of those bad boys in the Alamo Sea because a bull shark can breathe in both salt and fresh water. <laughs> That's probably one of the scariest sharks in my opinion. Next, some other animals like dolphins, killer whales, sperm whales in the deep along with giant squid. Great white sharks. Oh yes, great white sharks. We definitely need some of those. And maybe, just maybe, a megalodon every now and then. I know, Megalodons are extinct. Or are they? But it would just be cool. I know, I know. It was in one of the battlefields, wasn't it? it was Battlefield 4, right? They had a Megalodon. I'm just saying. It would be nice now, somewhere in the deep, if you go too deep, you run into a Megalodon and it eats you. Some other things I'd like to see added to an ocean or underwater DLC is probably an attack boat or attack boats, PT type boats that have cannons, dev charges, torpedoes, Maybe even a seaplane and a sea helicopter where you can land on the ocean, pick up some crewmates, and have the ability to you know land your plane and your helicopter in the middle of the water. Go for a nice little swim. If you see a shark, you quickly get back to the plane or the helicopter, and you fly off to safety. That would be awesome. So great ideas there, Blood Talks. And yes, I added a few as well, because that's what it's all about. Us working together, brainstorming, coming up with different ideas on adding new content to Grand Theft Auto Online, specifically, like we're mentioning in Top 5 Ideas 5.0, for the next-gen versions of Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online. Speaking of wildlife, we know that there's a lot of wildlife in story mode, and I would really like to see wildlife included in the next-gen version of Grand Theft Auto Online, because that's something that's devoid of in the PS3 and 360 versions, and that's something a lot of us would like to have. Not just to shoot at, but to also for additional scenery, like cows, deer, chickens, dogs, bobcats, boar, coyotes, cougars, animals that you can hunt, and maybe some of them that can hunt you as well if you're wandering around up in the woods. <laughs> <laughs> or the hills and whatnot. Plus, maybe some new animals to wildlife too, like foxes, snakes, wolves, rabbit dogs. That'd be kind of cool. And uh, grizzly bears, you know, like the ones in uh, Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> that would be epic. And maybe even some uh, hunting jobs from Cletus in Grand Theft Auto Online. That would be cool as well. I'm sure Peter really loves those two ideas. <laughs> Moving on, a big one I'd like to see added to the next-gen version of Grand Theft Auto Online is more character customization. Now, there's a lot of things we can do of our character in the PS3 and Xbox versions of Grand Theft Auto Online, but I would like to see more when it comes to next-gen. New hairstyles, new hair colors, 
like gray, red, orange, pink, blue, green, gold. Just go crazy with different hairstyles and different colors to add uniqueness and further customization to our characters, including maybe some plastic surgery options. The ability to change up the character's chin, their nose, their eyes, eyebrows, and of course uh, the mouth, have different mouth looks, uh, the breast sizes, you have various breast sizes, the ability maybe even to get a boob job on a male character if you want to make him trans like my character Janine, or just a straight up sex change, uh, male to female, female to male. More options would include new character builds along with the normal one that we all have right now, the default version. You could have a petite version, you could have buff, all muscular and stuff, and maybe even an overweight version of uh, GTA characters figures to choose from, and different heights, average like the one that we have right now, the standard, then short for a little bit shorter characters are tall for characters that are a little bit taller if you want to make your character shorter taller bigger stronger slimmer all these options would go a long ways towards adding further uniqueness and customization for our Grand Theft Auto online characters and that's a really cool thing about it the fact that we're gonna be able to keep our characters and transfer them over to the next-gen consoles the Xbox one PlayStation 4 or even PC something else I'd like to add to that comment is of course more wardrobe selections like some biker gang outfits uh, gangster outfits you know kind of like the balas and the families and of course alternative lifestyle wardrobe western gear maybe from red dead redemption that'd be cool uh, different eras like from the 1700s 1800s and perhaps even 1900s clothing the way i see it the more wardrobe options we have for our characters the better and the final idea for top five ideas 5.0 is a big one in my opinion and it's the problem that we've been facing a lot lately on the PlayStation 3 and the Xbox 360. No more modded public lobbies. Just like the rest of you, I'm sick and tired of hearing about all the crap that's been infected in the public lobbies, like UFOs, the Ferris Well Wheels, asteroids, modded money, barriers intentionally being put in front of Los Santos Customs, and all the crap that's been found in people's garages, like ramps, dumpsters, items that are in the creator mode, and of course now body parts and blood. God, it's just gone too far. Now, I realize that when Grand Theft Auto 5 and Grand Theft Auto Online come to PC, the white hat modders, as I like to call them, are going to do fantastic things on PC. They're going to add a ton of awesome new content. But you know what? As far as the black hat modders are concerned, they can piss off. And that wraps up this edition of Top 5 Ideas. Let me know below in the comment section which of these five ideas is your favorite. And if you enjoyed the video, if you like most of the ideas or all of them, hit the like button. Be sure and check out my channel for daily content seven days a week. If you like what you see, be sure and hit that subscribe button because it really does help my gaming channel grow. I also have a Facebook page for you to like and a Twitter for you to follow linked in the description section. Have a great weekend and as always, thanks for watching.